sort of where we started off, uh, I guess, you, if you will, we, uh, the group sort of shared our individual stories as to why we felt that we were in between those two particular groups. So uh, I was nominated to sort of share my story as hopefully somewhat representative of, uh, of the conversation that we had in the group. Um, really what, what we kind of, or what I felt, I'll, I'll, I'll go from that point of view. Uh, I used to think that I was a, I was a pioneer and then I, and then I realized that there were lots of other people out there who were already having really great discussions and coming up with really great ideas that, you know, oh my God, I, I thought I was the only one. And then we sort of uh, it sort of realized that there's a value to being at a particular point on the curve. Not, so it's not necessarily about moving along the curve, but the skill set that, that I had was, was more in that particular area to be able to bring the people together and network is sort of formed and what do you do with that network and how do you usher them along to the next stage. So we had, we had quite an interesting discussion about the various points on the, on, on, uh, on the curves and what our relationship with those points was. So not as an individual who would be moving along the curve, but um, an individual who helps move along and uh, move, an, uh, move an idea along the curve. Mm -hmm. So uh, my, my particular example that I gave was um, I'm the president of my community association. And uh, that is obviously a very structured thing. There are very, there are very definitive things that we have to do. We have to, you know, not go bankrupt. We have to provide annual returns. We have to, uh, you know, development permits that the cities are doing. We have, we have to provide commentary on those. Some very structured things. So, you need a board. You need a, you need a hierarchy, etc. Um, but as, as a community group, we, I was really looking for new ways to actually to be able to engage the community. So. Uh, and stemming basically from that, that, that concept of who are we, the 14 of us, sitting around this board table to make decisions on behalf of the community. I mean, yes, they elected us, but as most of you know, as a community association, it's usually acclamation, but uh, <laughs> e even if they did actually elect us, again, who are we, the 14 board members, to, to make unilateral decisions? So how is it that we're actually, we're, we're consulting with the community? And it really sort of became that idea of uh, we have a network of people around around the table who are interested in these sort of same sorts of things. So how do we actually empower them to turn them into a, a, a community of practice? And how do we how do we pass along their ideas to, to the next phase? Um, and and as part of our conversation that we had about the various other points that that were that are on the two the two curves. Uh, it's very important that in order for me as the president of that organization to be able to do that, uh, the only reason I can really do that is because I have a treasurer who's also the director of our operations committee who's firmly on the pink curve, on, 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 the, uh, uh, on the, you know, protector side, I guess, perhaps even. And it's because he's making sure that the organization doesn't go bankrupt and that we're paying all of our bills and that, uh, you know, renters are, are moving in and out of the space and all that kind of stuff that it frees up other people to, to be able to, uh, uh, to take a look at some of these bigger pictures and new systems ideas. And it's not until we actually manage to get those ideas to over more closer to the system of influence side that we'll actually be able to give that up. So uh, we spend an awful lot, of, a lot, awful lot of our time actually talking about um, what roles, the how, how we interact with the various, uh, the various places on there. Is there anything else, Steve?